National Excel project. So last time we just finished recording the Marco. And so now it says add assign the add customer Marco to the add customer button and then run the add customer market to make sure it inserts a new record at the bottom of the customer table on the customer's worksheet. So we're gonna go to home page. Now you see there's three buttons here. You're gonna wanna right click on the first one which says add customer, you can click assign Marco. You're gonna click add customer because this is add customer button. You click okay. So now if we click it, it's gonna add a row here. Okay, so now we run it. Next, it says, Ravi has already created similar Marcos to add a new contract record and a new invoice record. Return to the homepage worksheet and assign the Marcos buttons to <coughs> as follows. Assign the add contract Marco to the add contract button. So we're basically going back to the homepage. So we're going to right click again. Click add assign Marco. And we're going to do add contract due to this button. Okay, and then we're going to go to, and then next it says, Add, assign the add invoice marker to the add invoice button so we're going to go to add invoice we're going to right click assign marker and add invoice okay so now it says go to the customers worksheet Bobby wants to create pivot tables that include customers, contract, and invoice data. Ravi wants to list and total each contract's amount of by city and signing date. Create a pivot table that displays the information as follows. Rename the sheet for worksheet using contracts by city as the name of the worksheet. So you're going to go to sheet 4 and double tap on it and then rename it to contracts by city. Copy and paste or save it. Okay. So once we do that, we're gonna go. So we're gonna go here. Make sure it's the right spelling or else it won't count as credit. Then it says create a pivot table based on the contract cell in cell B3 of the contracts by city worksheet. So we're going to go to like we're going to go to the contracts worksheet. Now we're going to we're going to select from contract number right here. So to select the whole entire thing, we're going to click sh we're going to click command shift down then you click command shift right and it's just select the whole chart then you go to data and you see like a pivot table on your right side top and you click existing worksheet you see the little arrow right here you click that and you're gonna click contracts by city from B3 then you click the arrow again and you go back here and click OK. So it should show this when you finish. Then it says display the city fields value but as rows headings. So if you look to your right side, you should find something that says city. So you click, so you're gonna, you're gonna hold it and drag all the way to rows and you let go. This should happen if you can see. Then it says display the signing date field value as column headings. So we're going to go to signing date, drag it, but this time we're going to column, so it's over here. Back up right there. So it like this. Then it says add the contract AMT field to values area to sum the field values. We're going to go to contract AMT to values. It says, group the signing dates to display them as years and quarters only. Expand the head sings, the year headings to display the qu quarter headings if necessary. So, 
You're gonna go. So you're gonna want to. You want to select the table first. Again, you wanna click. You wanna. You wanna select the year. The year twenty. 2021 you're gonna right click what right, just click there you want to click you see this button called group and click group then you're gonna click quarter you want to click quarters you shift it to select years too so it says quarters and years together click ok and then so now it, then it says Remove all subtotals from the pivot table. So then we go to design, and you're gonna you see this button called subtotal on the on your left top. You're gonna click don't show subtotals, and boom, right there. This is format the sun and the contract AMT field using the currency number format with two decimal places and the num and the dollar sign symbol. So now we're going to go to home. Make sure before you do this, make sure you want to um, select the whole table, or else it won't work. If you click, you see this button called general. You don't want to click more number formats. And you click currency. Now make sure it says two decimal places. The symbol make it to the dollar sign, and then you click OK. So now when you finish, it should look like this. I can see. Okay, now it says Ravi also wants to list the paid and unpaid invoices for each month and then filter them by contract type. Create a pivot table that displays this information as follows. Rename the sheet 3 worksheet using invoice by month as the name of the worksheet. So we're going to go here. Find the thing that says sheet 3 on the bottom. You're going to double tap and rename it to invoices by month make sure you spell it right okay so once you do that it says um create a pivot table based on the invoice table in cell b3 of the invoices by month worksheet so we're going to do the same thing again but from invoices you know so you're gonna select the table like this you're gonna click go to uh, data pivot table and you're gonna click existing worksheet again click the little arrow go to invoices by month from b3 click back here and click ok so here it is again then it says display the signing date field value as row headings so we're gonna go to find and scroll down and find signing date to row okay, there you go this should look like this then it says the invoice paid field values as column headings. So I'm going to go to invoice. So you want to make sure you have the right value. Invoice paid. Invoice paid to columns. It should look like this. Then you add to the invoice AMT field value to the values area to sum the field values. So invoice AMT to the values. Boom. Then it says use the contract type field as a filter. So you're going to scroll and you're going to find the thing that says contract type. You're going to drag it to filters. Like this. This says group the signing dates to display them as years and month only. So the signing dates are. Yeah, fine. 2021 and 2022. And then you're gonna right click. You're gonna click group. You're gonna click from months to years. So, be yeah, it says from years to month only. So, you might want to do this separately from so you can do months here. You want to do this separately because, or you could do this. So you know, in order to do them like, then you should select both only. You want to click shift, then you so you want to click month, then click shift command, then select year, and it will 
you select both like this and you click okay boom like this right you see it looks like this now format the sum of invoice amt fields using the currency number format with two decimal places and the number sim dollar symbol again so we're gonna go to home now remember you have to select the table shift coming in down to left Listen like this. And let me just try to or you just um select it by dragging down here first. And then you click shift command. Select the side to You only want to select, like, yeah, just tap the corner that says some invoice AMT. Go to home from general button. You can click but the down button, click more number formats, currency, decimal places two, dollar symbol, and okay. So, this is how it looks like. And it says, Ravi wants to show invoices for security plans only and wants to make the pivot table easier to imprint, interpret. Modify the pivot table as follows to meet Ravi's request. Use the unpaid column as the column heading in cell C4. So we're going to go to C4. And let me go back here. So, so you're gonna go to invoices sheet. I'll find C 